What's going on, MBL Network? We are live. Twitch.tv backslash MBL Network here. Episode number three, building the franchise, Buffalo Bills. Six and five on the season. San Francisco 49ers here at home. They're sitting at five and six. Must win game for both teams. Little angle route. Oh, and laying the lumber early on. And I guess we'll get back to the, the sounds of the game. Easy does it. That's a big time hit there for the Buffalo Bills. That's how you create turnovers. That's what we got to see tonight. How can we slow down this San Francisco 49ers offense and more importantly, take care of the ball against one of the better defenses in the NBL, especially against the run. So uh, let's see some Josh Allen airing it out tonight. Kevin Coleman kind of overthinks that one just a little bit. San Francisco comes in with a 13th best 80.9 yards a game rushing passing their 29th so this is going to be a ground and pound san francisco team here tonight and they're averaging about 25 points per game giving up 28 sitting at five and six in the nfc and trying to battle and find their way back into uh one of those spots one of those last wild card spots six or seven there and up to the left side most nowhere to go out to the 38 yard line it's going to bring up the first third down of the game this is when you look at the secondary of the buffalo bills can they get it done? Tredavious White, obviously El Capitan on that side of the ball. Micah Hyde, Jordan Poyer, the two safeties. Levy Wallace, he had a big game last time we watched him here on building the franchise. Over the middle, dotty dot dot, hanging on to the ball. Number 19, Jimmy G, two for two, 19 yards. Perfecto so far as he finds Debo Samuel. Don't sleep on Debo. Let me know how it looks and sounds in the chat. Uh, let me know how it looks and sounds in the chat, please. Appreciate everybody checking us out. If you want to join the NBL, go to 365.madambomberleague.com. You are watching Building the Franchise. We follow a new team every season. Each season in the NBL, season lasts about 35 to 45 days, and we follow a new team, and we kind of follow select games, usually five to six episodes. And then we follow the rumors, we follow the draft picks, we follow the storylines. And that's what we're doing this season with the Buffalo Bills, who kind of got off to a little bit of a shaky start, and they're trying to figure it out, and they're trying to slide into the playoffs. We'll have all the playoff action here on twitch.tv backslash MBL Network. And that's a dangerous pass. I mean, you look to the left side, uh, Jimmy G's looking over there, but he's, he's sitting close to this hash over here. He's really stretching the ball across the field. That's a lot of east and west air as opposed to north and south. That's what you want to see from your quarterback driving the ball down the field. A little risky pass in the second, third down of the game. Are they going to continue to pick it up? And yes, they do. 31, Moster. Three carries, seven yards, and he's now picked up a third down here for the San Francisco 49ers and keeping their drive alive. Appreciate everybody checking us out here on twitch.tv backslash MBL Network. You can also find us on Twitter at Bomber League at MBL Network. Make sure you check us out for upcoming streams, giveaways, and events here on our Twitch channel. What's going on, Rusta Busta? Appreciate everybody in the building right now. Silent Streamer, Spongy, Eddie Mars, Brad. If you like what you see here make sure you give us a follow also check us out on twitter at bomber league at mbl network you can also find archived podcasts archived mbl lives we just did mbl live broadcast number 350 yesterday find that on youtube.com backslash man and bomber appreciate it. eddie mars once again Giving away a ton of tier one subs, gifting 10. That's going to put him at 40. Lifetime. It sounds awful when you say Levy Wallace. Okay, am I, am I saying it wrong, Eddie? Another big time first down there from Moster. He's keeping these drives alive right there, just keeping his feet churning, really nowhere to go. Uh, he, he runs into contact right at the line of scrimmage, but he's able to keep his feet chopping, falls forward, and picks up a few. San Francisco sitting at the 16-yard line. First and 10. 
Jimmy G to the outside. Oh, nice juke inside. Master. <laughs> Why did he? He didn't have to juke back, but that was a nice, shifty footwork. From the young halfback for the San Francisco 49ers. You got a little option right here with Jimmy G. He ends up pitching it to the halfback. Gets outside, jukes back inside, and he really just could have went to the pylon and probably would have put six on the board, but instead, he decides to give our Buffalo Bills uh, another opportunity. Oh, there's a big hit coming in there. That's Micah Hyde. He's coming out, shooting the gap. Mostert seven carries, 24 yards. If you want to join the NBL, go to 365.madandbarmerleague.com. We talked about the secondary earlier, led by Tredavious White. Two safeties, Micah Hyde, Jordan Poyer. And you got Teron Johnson playing the slot here for the Buffalo Bills. Need to get a turnover. Here it comes. There's an opportunity, but sure-handed George Kittle. Able to hold on to the ball. And I'll tell you what, if this drive tells you anything about the San Francisco 49ers, it's that this team can keep the chains moving and eat up a lot of clock. I'm going to point here to the top. Look at this, a whole quarter. And the ball's only been in the hands of Jimmy G and the San Francisco 49ers team. Now, how bad would it be for San Francisco to only walk away with three here? They've picked up, I think, four first downs, five first downs. They've ate up five and a half minutes here in the first quarter. Completely dominate. Oh, watch George Kittle here. You got to get some. There he goes. Nice adjustment by Cougs. Tremont Edmonds. Tremaine Edmonds moves right back into that little hook curl. Looking for a pick here. Looking for an opportunity. Dangerous pass. And he can't hold on to the ball. And do they get aggressive and go for it here? Five and six. This is a must-win game for the San Francisco 49ers to keep their playoff hopes alive. And the Buffalo Bills kind of on that same path. It's time for Buffalo to go on a little run here. We're sitting at six and five, trying to improve to two games over 500. But I'll tell you what, that wild card spot. That wild card spot in the AFC is much different than the NFC. You, you're looking at three, four lost teams. Here we go. He goes for it on fourth down. Jimmy G's going to step up. He's taking off, and he's got it. Easy peasy for Jimmy G Z. Touchdown, San Francisco. Come on, let's go. Yeah, big win by train today. The Los Angeles Chargers laid the lumber down on the New England Patriots with a final score of 34 to 24. You talked about you talk about Herbert. Justin Herbert, 22 at 32, 292 yards, two touchdowns, two interceptions. Eckler didn't have a good game. And usually that's the workhorse for this team. And you look at the three wins they had prior to today here in week 13, the Los Angeles Chargers were really relying on the footwork and the ability to make those big plays from Austin Eckler. And tonight it was all on the shoulders of the rookie. And Herbert looked good. Cam Newton, not so much. 10 of 20, buck 98, two touchdowns, two picks. That's just not going to get it done. And he led their team in rushing with just 27 yards as Sony Michelle had six attempts for one yard. Defense stepped up. The rookie stepping up. Things are looking bright in LA. Singletary going against the number 13th ranked defense here for the San Francisco 49ers. Let's take a look at the skill players. And Josh Allen's going to have an opportunity to look for today. Devin Singletary just saw him with a carry picking up five. Stephon Diggs is our X-Factor wide receiver. Robert Foster and watch John Brown. He is sneaky big play ability in this offense. He kind of just, you don't, don't hear about him. Five plays, ten plays, pass, a quarter passes. And then he hits you with back-to-back -back big plays and they can be game-changer plays. But I'll, always the most consistent Receiver has been Dawson Knox at Ole Miss. Now this tight end is going to turn into arguably a top two, top three, and that's going to be a pick as he's right trigger. A makes you pay. Oh, baby. You can't do that. You can't do that if you're the Buffalo Bills. In a, in a building saying the Bills team is nice. Double A'd that one. INT for San Francisco. So San Francisco drove down the field, took the entire first quarter, went forward on fourth down on fourth and goal, scored with a Jimmy G rush. Oh man, Oster's gone. Another touchdown on the board. Bills gonna find themselves down 14-0, pending this extra point. Ah, you gotta step it up. 
31 gets it done. Finds pay dirt here in San Francisco. And the crowd is going crazy. This is a must win for San Francisco just as it's a must win for the Bills. Obviously, Niners sitting one game under 500 while our Buffalo Bills are sitting a game over 500. But let's take a look at the playoff picture here in the NBA. If Daddy Leagues would load for me here. Appreciate everybody checking us out, building the franchise. Probably going to do two more episodes and maybe a playoff episode. So we might do six episodes this season, NBL season 49. Put command season in the chat if you're interested in learning about what's going on around the NBL, who won it last year, what season we're in. You can put command NBL, also command join as well. Appreciate it, JB with another sub. He does all our graphics. He is an NBL Hall of Famer and the owner of the Cleveland Browns. Nice play by Nick Bosa there. Hey, we get a nice little shed and stop Singletary at the line of scrimmage. That's no gain. If you like what you see here, go ahead and give us a follow. NBL Live broadcast 350 was last night. We got another NBL Live coming up here tomorrow or the next day. And we also have a new program on the channel where we're going to allow our guys to stream face cam and all their games on here. So it's going to be a little different addition to the MBL network is a nice play Dawson Knox right on cue so one for two and an interception first completion of the day goes to his favorite target Mr. Reliable number 88 the great you look at Josh Allen and his Bills team San Francisco takes the entire first quarter and they come away with seven Josh Allen takes an entire three seconds off the second quarter and it literally was 557 and he had already thrown the interception so Got to clean that up. Still a lot of time left. Von Diggs going to possession catch that. That's a little dangerous throw. You get a little drag right here, but 36 is kind of creeping down. If he jumps that, gets a beat on that ball, that could have been a pick six for Josh Allen already. Looking a little shaky for our 6-5 and five Buffalo Bills, who are coming off consecutive wins. Singletary fighting for it. He's going to pick up a first down. Three rushes, 10 yards, first and 10 Buffalo. And now they're in San Francisco territory. Can they get some points on the board? First down, Buffalo. JB says the Miners up 14-0. Didn't expect that. Me neither. He's open. He's going to give it to him. It's Diggs, nice job by 54 to come off the halfback. And that's just awareness right now. You got your halfback leaking to the flat here. The linebacker comes down. He takes that away, but his head is on a swivel. He's looking and using his peripheral vision, kind of dropping back. And he plays this drag very nicely. He's able to come back and give a little help to his cornerback. Making that tackle second and four. That could have been a nice pickup. Maybe a, a chunk play, a little 10, 15-yard game. Shotgun formation, play action, Jackson looking. He's going to take the shot at Y. Over the top. Picked off. Interception by Ward. And just like that, Josh Allen throws his second interception of the day. And Ward's looking to pick six. Return this kick. Get it. But he's down to the 43-yard line. Oh, baby. You get, the, you get the look you want. You got a post against this Tampa 2. But you got this safety playing. He's, he knows his, his linebacker is going to need some help. He shows a little bit here. Josh Allen takes his eyes off, and he works his way back to the middle of the field, and he's able to jump that pass as the you know, post route got led up the field. And your strong arm, 99 throw power Josh Allen. But right there, the safety just a little stronger. Shotgun formation for Jimmy G. Chopping it up at the line of scrimmage. Handoff up the middle. Derek McKinnon, a lot of space. Big hit. Micah Hyatt laying the lumber. But the ball... Doesn't lie. Stays in the hands of 28. Derek McKinnon. And they pick up another first down. The San Francisco first downers. Yeah, Russell, that's two picks for Josh Allen. Not looking good uh, for our defense. Dropping back Jimmy G. Goes underneath. Monster, he's been big in this offense so far. 
Don't miss any of the upcoming action. Twitch.tv backslash MBL Network. You're already here. Hit that follow button, MBL Live. Play-by-play -play broadcast with our man, the MBL Network director, Nick Mazesco. Check it out. Just had a episode number 350. Oh, he gets beat right there. Burns going to get down to the 25-yard line. Jimmy G, 7 for 8, 63 yards. He hasn't drove the ball down the field too much, but he hasn't had to. He just methodically dots you down the field, and he, he pretty much all he does is just pick up first downs. This offense is just a first down machine tonight here on Building the Franchise Episode 3 MBL Season 49. Swing to the right side. Nice beat on the ball there for Tredavious White. He's going to make a tackle in open field. You got to be, you just have to be a little bit more cautious if you're Jimmy G in that situation. You got a nice drive going. You're in field goal range. You can take a three score lead here. You're running a motion to your halfback, and you know Tredavious White was sitting right over here. You kind of predetermined that throw. That could have been a pick. Could have ended up worse than it was. Dangerous pass. Oh, should have been picked off. Oh, he had a pick six a few weeks ago. But Schubert can't hold on to that one. It just bounces off his hands. Oh, man. Third and 12. Got to get off the field here. They're going to be aggressive and throw the ball. Shot underneath. Quick drag. Schubert, 58. It's going to be a yard short here. Fourth and one. Now, did they get aggressive again or did they settle for three? He says, good night. That was the easiest pick ever. Well, that's why he's on the defensive side of the ball. He's not tight end. He's a middle linebacker. They're going to go for the field goal here, fourth and one. I was curious to see if San Francisco wanted to kind of put their foot on the Buffalo Bills throat. Buck 45 left. Buffalo blanked so far. Two interceptions from Josh Allen. A time dominating, a possession dominating drive for San Francisco to open this game. They took the entire first quarter and they capped it off with a fourth and goal touchdown run from Jimmy G. And they've been cruising since then. Cage says you, you got to kick it to go up three possessions. Now, I agree. But you go up 21, you're up three touchdowns now. And at this point in the season, it's a nice little confidence booster. He made that play. Dangerous throw here. Looking for, almost picked off. It's Jimmy Ward once again sitting in the vicinity. you got to watch 20 over here. This safety sitting right here, he's doing a lot of things. He just finds himself around the football. Every single time you're driving the ball 15, 20 yards in the air, you find him just kind of lurking in the in the vicinity. He's got a great nose for the ball, and he's doing a great job recognizing where Josh Allen's eyes are. Here we go, shotgun formation here for the Buffalo Bills. Buck 38 left in the second quarter. Two timeouts remaining. Andrews throw to the right side, looking Dawson Knox. That's going to be a defensive. Oh, Dawson Knox is going to make a play. That's a big boy play. Oh, baby, into the end zone. First touchdown of the game. And just like that, the Buffalo Bills. Quick score. In 20 seconds, they take a deep shot to Stephon Diggs. Kind of lucky it doesn't get intercepted. Then they find their favorite target. That's Josh Allen to Dawson Knox. And he just goes absolutely insane. That's a big-time play from a big-time player. On our Buffalo Bills. Future superstar, I think, in the NBA. I'm calling it now. Appreciate everybody checking us out right now. If you're interested in joining the NBL, go to 365.madambomberleague.com to work your way up through our development league, The Grit. You get an opportunity there to showcase your abilities while learning the NBL rules and how we operate as a community and a league. And from there, you get an opportunity to work your way into the top five list, and that's where we pull all of our 
owners from to the NBL. So to get that call up. Make some of these guys day. This is what we got for our offense right now. Seeing a couple forced passes to Stephon Diggs. Devin Singletary hasn't done too much, but Dawson Knox has been that consistent pulse here for our offense. Oh, t -Jax does it again. Lucky uh, Kittle able to hang on to it. Here we go, look at Jimmy G. Finds George Kittle. I mean, it's really dink and dunk here from Jimmy G. Take those first window. Throws away and sends some pressure. I, I think you got an opportunity to get a, a turnover here if, if I'm Buffalo. I'm gonna wanna I, I wanna send some heat off the edge. And I want to take away those first window throws. See, no pressure. Over the middle looking. That's tip. That's going to be almost caught. Payne Edmonds almost coming down with the ball the middle linebacker. And then it kind of deflected around. And San Francisco almost got a little lucky. Second and 10 for San Fran. Two timeouts left. They're on their own 47-yard line. Three yards away from midfield. Probably need to get about, I say, the 40-yard line. Be about a 57-yard field goal. Looking, cooking. Good defense. Oh. Those balls get popped up. You got to wonder if that safety could have got underneath it. And if he did, he's probably to the house. I didn't see anybody on that right side of the field as it was trips on the left side and crossers coming across. Debo Samuel in motion to the right. Jimmy G dropping back. Look it. Went in doubt corner route and sure handed as George Kittle is. Right there, he gets lit up. And now the Buffalo Bills have an opportunity <laughs> to get in field goal range. Make this a one-score game. Down 17-0 on a 7-0 run right here. Touchdown on their last possession. And they now find themselves 88 yards away from pay dirt. Get to the 40, 38-yard line. Get yourself a field goal before half. You got two timeouts, 15 seconds left. This has got to be Stefan Diggs' territory here. This is why he gets paid the big bucks. This is why he is your number one receiver outside. Diggs in the slot here with Dawson Knox. I'm going to circle him. Watch him. A little fork action in the middle of the field as he motioned him over. Dangerous throw. That's going to be almost picked off. Dawson Knox does a great job helping his young quarterback out. Two interceptions on the day. Josh Allen is not bashful about trying to turn the ball over and give San Francisco another field goal. Not nah, Eric, I, I haven't been looking in the Discord, but I'm uh, I'm familiar. Singletary tries to run the Wildcat. They're going to go into half down ten. Things considered, it could be much worse for our Buffalo Bills. Found ourselves down 17-0. A big play to Dawson Knox. A little corner route that turns into Dawson Knox looking like Gronk in his prime. Beast in his way to the end zone. 17-7. Dawson Knox is really becoming a star here in the NBL. He's probably going to be a top two, top three tight end very, very soon. Don't miss any of the upcoming action here on the NBL Network. Oh, well, that's all. NBL Live broadcast 350 was last night. We got 351 coming up tomorrow or the next day. So stay tuned here. Turn your notifications on. Twitch.tv backslash NBL Network. You can also check us out on Twitter at Bomber League at NBL Network. Stefan Dix. First and 10. We get the ball to start the second half. It would have been nice with 30 seconds left. I know I know we were buried, you know, kind of pinned at the 12-yard line. And Josh Allen's throws have just been a little suspect. And, you know, the offensive coordinator says, let's just play it safe, go Wildcat. But it would have been nice to see us, you know, pick up some yards, maybe get out of bounds. We still had two timeouts. And get a field goal attempt. And now an opportunity would be to tie this game up. We're going to take a deep shot. That's Foster into the end zone. Easy peasy. Lemon Squeezy, another big play for the Buffalo Bills into the end zone, cutting a 
One 17 point lead to three pending this extra point. Wow. If you want to join the MBL, go to 365.madambomberleague.com to apply. You can put command MBL, command join in the chat, command season as well. Give you some information about what's going on around the MBL. And if you want to check out these two teams' rosters, you can go to madambomberleague.com. That'll be our Daddy League's website. And you can click the Buffalo logo at the top. It'll give you the depth chart for the Buffalo Bills. And you can do the same with the San Francisco 49ers. Or as my man JB says, the San Francisco Miners. Did T-Jax not see DK Metcalf last year? Facts. Turn it on just in time. Porter's the good luck charm for our Buffalo Bills. You're hearing it here first. He tunes in. And Cougs turns up. All right, we need to see a big play. We've seen Tredavious White make a nice open field tackle there on a swing play. But I need to see a turnover. Who's going to get it for us? I feel an interception incoming. Poyer, Hyde, Wallace, Johnson, or our superstar X Factor, Tredavious White. I want you guys in the chat. Let me know who you think is going to get this pick because I, I smell one coming. Little handoff looking, but we send the cover zero hero. And Shelbert trying to make up for that dropped INT earlier in the game. That one, he's going to get a tackle for loss. Excuse me, that's Milano. Wow, I'm sorry. Schobert's probably saying, I don't drop picks. I, I had a pick six just a couple days ago. Shotgun formation, trips to the right side, inside slot, standing up. You see him, George Kittle. Got him circled on the screen. He's in motion to the left side. You got to recognize where he's going. Looking at Kittle, looking at Kittle. Takes a shot over the middle of the field. Big hit, holds on to the ball. And the San Francisco 49ers, you can say what you want about this team, Dinkin and Duncan. But they really spread the ball out. They got better distribution tonight than a Walmart Supercenter. Here on Building the Franchise, Episode 3. Schobert is in Jacksonville. Yeah, well, I must have had a conversation with Eric G. Sorry about that. Ed Oliver with a tackle there. Going to make a second and nine here for the, for the Buffalo Bills. Down three. Once down 17. It was 17-0. This, this score wasn't here. It was zero. And we were looking bad. Two interceptions for Josh Allen. We, we took a couple deep breaths. Made a couple big plays. And here we are. 358 left. San Francisco went on that phenomenal. Oh, he's rolling to the right side looking. You got to jump that. You got to jump that. Poyer, give me that. Nice play. Tredavious White, 27 Finds himself right in position to get his hands on the wide receiver and knock that ball loose. I'd like to see Poyer come over and, and just get a better angle and a little beat on the ball and, and have an opportunity to get an INT. All right, looks like uh, Cougs' stream is uh, struggling here a little bit. Let me know how it looks and sounds in the chat. Little issue right there, just a little hiccup. Trips to the right side. George Kittle inside slot, wide left. Debo Sam looking back. Got time, all kinds of time, and then not much time. Jimmy G, 12 for 19, 112 yards. He was once 9 for 10. All right, bit rate's getting a little crazy. All right, looks like it settled down just a little bit. If you like what you see here, go ahead and give us a sub here on twitch.tv backslash MBL Network. Also, follow us on Twitter, at Bomber League, at MBL Network, for upcoming streams and live events. Buffalo's got the ball back. Josh Allen, Singletary. Singletary hasn't really been able to get going. His nice tackle there. But one of the best corners in the league over the last what, five seasons, six seasons, seven seasons. Richard Sherman, he's been doing it for a long time, still doing it, and doing it well.
Yeah, Kooks' stream is kind of, uh, we decided to go 1080 with him. And it's kind of struggling just a little bit here. If you're interested in joining the NBL, go to 365.matterbomberleague.com to apply. Yeah, put command join in the chat if you're interested in uh, checking out what we have to offer here. A run on second and 13. I don't like the call. Maybe hoping they catch San Francisco a little off, off guard here. Just went a little base, a little read option handoff. Nowhere to go. You're probably hoping you get you pick up seven, eight yards, make this a third and manageable. Right now it's third and long, third and nine for this team. Watch this. This is the DK Metcalf spot. That's Stephon Dix. If you can see him right here, he's going to have a nice... Nice little soft spot. Let's see what we get here. It's not there. It's not there. He's dropping back way too far, and he uh, throws it away, and he's almost <laughs> in the end zone. That could have easily been a safety, and it is. Wow. Josh Allen, a couple mental mistakes. And right now, uh, two interceptions and a safety. you got to be better than that. If you're a franchise quarterback here for the Buffalo Bills. All right, here we go. 2.19 left in the third quarter. Appreciate everybody checking us out. I know we're having a couple issues with the stream. Wildcat action here. Handoff. Monster trying to get outside. Really nowhere to go. Edmonds uses his speed. 49. I tell you what, he's smooth. He is smooth and he can transition from a hard pursuit Chop down, change direction, make a tackle. He's pretty much everywhere you want him to be, especially at that linebacker position. Jimmy G, shotgun formation, two halfback set. Play action, looking. Takes a shot down the middle of the field. Can't hold on to the ball. That's a dangerous throw. One, two, three, four. Four white jerseys in the vicinity. That's never a good sign for Jimmy G. San Francisco. Went on a 17-0 run to start the game. Buffalo battled back, 14-0 run for them. And then a safety on the last possession for Josh Allen, which turned that 17 to 19. Jimmy G, dangerous throw. There's the pick, Tredavious White, I called it. I felt it coming, and right there, Jimmy G just, here's the problem with Jimmy G. If he doesn't throw that first read, and he doesn't find the underneath guy immediately, he sits in the pocket right there, just has a little too much time, and he starts thinking he can do things that he shouldn't be doing. But he really bel believes, you know, maybe I could throw that post, and testing Tredavious White here in the second half is not the answer. There goes Singletary, a little halfback wham. Once again, Richard Sherman comes over, and he's making tackles. I'll tell you what, this old veteran isn't afraid to stick his nose in the fire and make that tackle. I see 11th interception on the season for Tredavious White. Handoff, nowhere to go. You can't really run on the San Francisco team, and I don't, this reminds me a lot of my Detroit Lions in real life. You get a nice run on first, and you go back to the well, and now we're in a third and four. And, and these are the situations you don't want Josh Allen to be in because he's going to feel like he, he needs to pick this up. No men of has been shifting in the Buffalo Bills' favor. But unless they can get a touchdown here, just not a ton of time for Josh Allen to continuously not make the big play. RB, no, takes the shot underneath. Nice job finding Dawson Knox. He's going to pick up the first down, a little screen to the right side. I like the post right here. I thought he was open. He runs with this little halfback, excuse me, tight end screen. You get the tackle coming over here and the guard pulling over here and, and nice blocking up front. That's an easy four or five yard gain. I like that play call, a little tricky. Gets the defense back on their heels here. Watch John Brown here on this right side. Pitch to the outside. 70's out there. Oh, what a block by number 70. When you can get your lineman laying out for you like that. Turns what would have probably been a three-yard gain. Picks up an extra two yards there. You like to see Singletary do a little bit more with that. But, but that's where we are. 
You're watching Buffalo Bills action here on the MBL Network. If you're interested in joining, go to 365.madambomberly.com to apply. Check out our community, the win-loss records of both of these owners. We have career win-loss records we track, all kinds of things. Josh Allen takes a big-time sack. That's not what you want. No bueno from number 17. You just got to hope they don't have to settle for three. And have finished the game with 17 points. Because after these two touchdowns that the Buffalo Bills put on the board, they've really struggled to move the ball. Suspect decisions from Josh Allen, two interceptions and a safety in which he dropped back from the 15-yard line and just threw the ball away from center pocket. Didn't get outside of the pocket. Got an intentional grounding. Josh Allen trying to run again, really nowhere to go. And he goes down 55, D Ford. First sack of the game, second tackle on the game. Fourth and 10, you're going to go for it here. Man, Josh Allen is really trying to step up. And he ends up running into his own lineman. Now, that is just not heads up football there for Josh Allen. Just not his day today. And this is a must win game for our 6 and 5 Buffalo Bills. I'm going to put the AFC playoff race on the screen for you guys here in just a second. Looking. Finds B underneath. He's going to fight forward. Nice job by Singletary. You know, you got cornerbacks in open field trying to make a tackle. And I'll, and I'll tell you what. That's what happens. You got a full head of steam. It's going to be tough. Oh, but he doesn't pick up the first down. He challenges the spot. Wow, that is some home cooking here in San Francisco. Wow. Wow, I thought he picked it up easy. What do you guys think? Drago says punt. Of course he does. Oh, Jimmy G just eats it. Wow. Jerry Hughes lays the lumber on your franchise quarterback, and it was almost a deer in headlights look there for number 10. Second and 13. Still a lot of time in this game. Look, we just went under five minutes here in the fourth. Unless San Francisco has one of those drives they had in the first quarter, this could be a long night. Going for the strip there is Edmonds. Nice play, and once again, I'm going to say this couple more times before we get off the air. Debo Samuel makes plays, gets open, and makes plays after the catch. He's just absolutely deadly. What is San Francisco 49ers offense? Hey, he didn't make a drackle, but still, I don't know if punt was the was the right right move. Drop it back, Jimmy G. Underneath, Samuel. Oh, he, he gets hit there by Tredavious White, but he still picks up nine yards. going to be third and one. Biggest third down of the game. And, and these are those third and, third and manageables, if you will, that you want to see in the fourth quarter, especially with the San Francisco 49er team that likes to dink and dunk. Davis White got his X-Factor rocking and rolling right now after that tech. Yeah, appreciate the 95 viewers watching Building the Franchise Buffalo Bills episode number three here live. Oh, Edmonds up the middle. That's the user. He can't hold on to him. Fights forward and first and wow, oh, first and ten. Oh man. You just have to make that tackle. You know, that's the problem. You you, you have your linebacker shoot the gap. And Tremaine Edmonds just, just can't make the tackle. But Michael Hyde, Micah Hyde, excuse me. Looking like Michael Jordan jumping there. He's going to get a pick six. Debo Samuel ain't catching him. 2-3 into the end zone. And the first lead of the night for the Buffalo Bills. 6-5 and five on the season. San Francisco 49ers, 5-6. and six. Jimmy G rolls back. And Micah Hyde just... I believe I can fly. And I love the return as well. He was on the JUIs. He had the juice on that return. Wow. Brad says blind man reach. Defense was that. Oh no, serve says. Touchdown. I mean, excuse me. Two point conversion. Singletary. Three point game.
Well, if if Josh Allen didn't get a safety, San Francisco would have 17 points, which they were up 17-0 to start the game. And they would be down four because he wouldn't have gone for the two, obviously. It would be 21-17. to That means the San Francisco 49ers would, have, would need a touchdown. A three, a field goal wouldn't tie it. And that changes everything because San Francisco has yet to find the end zone since early in the first half. Miller Thriller with a little da doom -tsh. Says can't hide from Micah. Nice. Debo Samuel inside slot looking. Oh, we had him on the corner, but instead he goes back to old reliable George Kittle. 15 to 25, only 148 yards. When you see 15 completions and either 150 yards or less, you know this guy's throwing underneath a lot. 10 yards per catch, and that's including rack, relatively speaking. Oh, there's a dangerous pass. Picked up. Dante Pettis siding here for the San Francisco 49ers. That was a nice throw by Jimmy G. Well placed. It had to be, or that could have been an INT. And that might have been GG's. San Francisco about a couple yards away from a field goal. We could have an overtime game here. The first one for building the franchise here in Madden 21. NBL season 49. But the San Francisco 49ers say we have other plans. Nice run there. Down to the 32. Two minute warning. I feel another interception. I feel another turnover coming. Hit stick fumble. What do you guys think? Austin's going to pick up the first down because you know what? That's what San Francisco does. They just pick up the first downs. Unfortunately for them, first downs don't necessarily put points on the board. Jamie says, this better not go into overtime. I got stuff to do. Are you reading my mind right now? Pitch outside. Get there. Oh, that's a loss down to the 34. Mostert, 14 carries, 64 yards and a touchdown. And Jerry Hughes coming up big in the fourth quarter. That's his second. Really impressive tackle there for number 55. I feel an INT coming. I think it's going to come from the secondary. Yep, there's the motion out. This is going to be a pass. Pull your hide. Hyde's already got one. Tredavious White has one. Who's getting this one? Oh, not Edmonds. Should have been Edmonds. Wow. Another great throw, and that's a gutsy throw there for T-Jax and his San Francisco 49ers offense. Going back to George Kittle, because why not? You playing for the tie? Oh, I would seem. You got a seam right here. You got the courage? No, he's going to run the ball here. There's Edmonds. Fumble? Nope, doesn't happen. Timeout, Buffalo. Second and goal from the 10. Is San Francisco going to play for the tie and head to overtime when I got stuff to do? Are they going to man up, put their big boy pants on, take a shot into the end zone, and get picked off? Captain Planet says, Coog's defense. Yeah, the Bills' defense is fast. If you like what you see here, go, don't miss any of the immersive MBO content here on twitch.tv backslash MBL Network. You can also find us on Twitter at Bomberly at MBL Network. Make sure you give us a follow for upcoming streams. MBL Live broadcast 351 will be coming up shortly. There's the pass and there's the pick. I knew it was going to happen. I hate to say I told you so, but I told you so. San Francisco has three timeouts. This is the victory lap because you got to. You got to score this. He's got three timeouts to get the ball back. Plus, you can always do the victory lap. Micah High, second pick of the day. This one. He does get a pick six over the middle, and he just doesn't even see him. Looking at George Kittle, he sees the linebacker, beats the linebacker, but Micah Hyde was lurking the whole time, shoots underneath and makes a phenomenal play, and the San Francisco 49ers put up 17 points early in the game, went up 17-0, and since then, goose egg, nothing, nada, and that is not going to win you games. Because in order to win, you must outscore your opponent. And 17 just usually isn't enough. Eric 
Harry G says Cougs is covering the spread. What was the spread on this game, Harry? Want to join the NBL? Go to 365.maddenbomberleague.com. Special thanks to everybody checking us out here on Building the Franchise, episode number three, Buffalo Bills. We're going to improve the seven and five. Things are going to get interesting here. I mean, right now, New England Patriots are falling apart. They're seven and five. That's our entrance into this playoff. Playoffs in the AFC. Patriots seven and five. They're falling apart. They're crumbling. Put it on there right there. Patriots seven and five. That's that's our ticket in. Had to win this game. We got a tough road coming up, but I, I think this Buffalo Bills team is gonna have enough JUIs to get in. And that's a win for the Buffalo Bills. That's going to do it for our episode here. Appreciate everybody checking us out. We'll see you next time. Building the franchise, Buffalo Bills. Buffalo 29, San Francisco 19. Buffalo improves to 7-5. San Francisco falls to 4-6.